Just as Abraham, he was used by God, God also has called me. He did with me because you know at least one person, one person that hates me. Yes or no? And I would like to find one person that, that says, Bishop, I know no one that hates you. And it doesn't exist. So, I am hated for how many years? For 40 years, I, I have been hated. Bad-mouthed. The, this, the, the TV here, also that is from the Catholic Church, brought, brought here that we were, we were kidnappers of children. And they made a horrible scene. They made a, a horrible scene and hammering, hammering against us. And here I am. And now, they in Brazil, the same thing they did to the mountains. So, I am the kind of guy or person that stamped with or from the media. Tested, tested, and tested. But I am approved by God. I'm still here. So, I can say to you, that when a person is formed of the Holy Spirit, born of God, and has heard God's voice, there is no one who can destruct or destroy them in no such a way. In no such way. So, I would like for you to know this, that if you are of God and you heard God's voice, so then you have been formed by God because God does not call anybody for any reason. He knew, he knew that Abraham was going to obey him because the faith that the voice of faith brings in us gives us the courage to execute it. It gives us courage to execute. It gives us the certainty to do exactly that is pushing us, driving us to move forward. So, we do not need to be imposing to anybody in the Universal Church. No one is obligated to do nothing. Or are you? There is the exception of the pastors. The pastors, the bishops, the auxiliaries, these, they must have, they must have a character of men of God. So, we do require from them. We have a, a line of behavior, a severe and restriction. Anything that is not, that does not go with the title or his function as a pastor, bishop, or whoever he is, so then this person is removed. But the others, no, you, you, we don't have that authority to do that. But the point is this that we, we have seen this. We have seen that God, He has preserved us to do His will throughout the world. And, in such a way, it has been done. The work is developing wherever the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God goes, even through our defects, immaturity, and on. Because the work is not of man, but it belongs to the Holy Spirit. He is the one who cares. So then, so then what takes place? You have seen, you have seen, and we have spoken, that the voice of God it's a privilege to those who are called and chosen. And all those that are baptized with the Holy Spirit, they have heard the voice of God. Who was not baptized with the Holy Spirit does not know who God is. The fact is, oh, I accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior. That means nothing. That me does not mean that the person heard God's voice. Ah, I'm, I'm baptized in waters. No, that doesn't mean anything that the person has heard God's voice. The baptism in waters, it is important as the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But not all 
who has heard God's voice did not hear it, but they heard the voice of the feelings of the heart, like Lot. They, he felt within and had the vision. I will follow Abraham just because he is 75 years old. He's not going to last long. He's listening to this voice, but I'll follow him because if he dies, I will inherit everything he has. And when was the, the time to divide or to separate himself from Abraham? He had the obligation to come to law to Abraham and say, Abraham, look, you choose. I am here just your servant. But because he did not, he was not born of God, he never heard God's voice. He got to what he saw and he craved after it. He was craving the greed of the heart. So then he saw the field of Jordan and said, you know what? I'll go there. I want that. It was green, beautiful. And Abraham said, go ahead. So you go there, I'll go the other way. No problem. Because Abraham had the right to say, no, Lot, you're going to go there and I'm going to go here. But Abraham, he, Abraham was so convicted, so assured of that God was with him, that God was going to do something extraordinary in his life that he did not even care if he was placed behind.